Exodus 11. God said to Moses, I am going to hit Pharaoh in Egypt one final time, and then he'll let you go. When he releases you, that will be the end of Egypt for you. He won't be able to get rid of you fast enough. So here's what you do. Tell the people to ask each man from his neighbor and each woman from her neighbor for things made of silver and gold. God saw to it that the Egyptians liked the people. Also, Moses was greatly admired by the Egyptians, a respected public figure among both Pharaoh's servants and the people at large. Then Moses confronted Pharaoh. God's message, at midnight, I will go through Egypt and every firstborn child in Egypt will die. From the firstborn of Pharaoh who sits on his throne to the firstborn of the slave girl working at her handmill, also the firstborn of animals. Widespread wailing will erupt all over the country, laments such as has never been and never will be again. But against the Israelites, man, woman, or animal, there won't be so much as a dog's bark so that you will know that God makes a clear distinction between Egypt and Israel. Then all these servants of yours will go to their knees, begging me to leave. Leave you and all the people who follow you, and I will most certainly leave. Moses, seething with anger, left Pharaoh. God said to Moses, Pharaoh's not going to listen to a thing you say, so that the signs of my presence and work are going to multiply in the land of Egypt. Moses and Aaron had performed all these signs in Pharaoh's presence, but God turned Pharaoh more stubborn than ever. Yet again, he refused to release the Israelites from his land.